Third grade, end of module four, review tests, numbers three and four. With Ms. Sethko, that's me. Number three says, Mr. Kelly is building a new school gym. He is deciding between the two floor plans below. Which gym floor plan has the greater area? Show how you found your answer on the drawings above. Show your calculations below. So we're going to have to show it on the picture and below as well. All right. Which gym floor plan has the greatest area? So a couple of ways to do it. We can start by finding just this area, which would be the 4 times 7. So that area equals 28 square meters. But then we have to find the area of this section here, which is going to be 5, but we don't know this little part. So we have to think about it. If 6 is the whole length minus 4, which is just that part, it leaves us with 2 meters there. So the area here is going to be 5 times 2, which is 10 square meters. And then if we add that up, We've got gym A equals 38 square meters because we did 28 plus 10 equals 38. Now we come over here and do it to this one. Now on this one, I want to take the whole thing, which is 6 by 10, which is 60 square meters, and I want to subtract this little part. So if here is 6 meters and here is 4, then that side part is 2 meters. And then if down here we have 10 meters, minus 3 and minus another 3, that leaves that in-between part 4, which is 8 square meters, because 2 times 4 equals 8. And so we'll go 60 minus 8. You have to decompose the 6 into a 5, making this 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. So Jim B has an area of 52 square meters. It says, which Jim Flurkin has the greater area? And so we'll say B. Jim B has the greater area. All right. It says show how you found your answer on the drawings above and then show your calculations below. So we have our calculations written like there. And then 6 times 10 was for the whole space. And you would just rewrite those below, and I would um, label one set Jim A and the other set Jim B, and just keep them separated. Kind of feels like you're doing things twice, but you are. You're doing it once on your uh, drawings, and then again, nice and neatly laid out. And that's number three. Then number four says... Taft Elementary School uses the design below for their playground. Shapes A, B, and C are rectangles. Label the side lengths of rectangles A and B on the drawing. Really important when we do that, that we include the M for meters. And then B, find the area of each rectangle. And then C actually says to... Find the area of the entire playground. Explain how you found the area of the playground. So those are the things we'll do. So starting with... Label the side lengths of rectangles A and B. So B has this side already done, and it's 10, but it doesn't have this side up here, which would be 20 minus 9, because we have 20 for the long part, 9 for the short part, and that leaves this part as our unknown. 
which would be 11. So we're going to write 11, and then we're going to make sure to write meters. Really important that you put the units on, otherwise we have to take off a bunch of points. All right, so then I also need uh, A to have its um, side. So nine is this side labeled. I need this side labeled. So if we take this as 10 minus three, that would be a leftover of seven. So seven meters is our length for this side of A. Now we need to find the area of each rectangle. So the area of A is going to be nine times seven, which equals 63 square meters. The area of B, that big one, is going to be 10 times 11, which equals 110 square meters. And then C, this little one down here, which is going to be 3 times 9. So 3 times 9, which is 27 square meters. All right. If you don't know your times tables well enough to do all of that, then you can do things like um, the nines trick on your fingers, or you can skip count um, like by nines, because that would help you with both of those. So you could do nine plus nine is 18, plus nine is 27. So that's where you get three times nine. And then you can keep going. Um, 9 plus 27 plus 9 would be 32 sorry 36 and then plus 9 more would be 45 plus 9 more would be 54 plus 9 more would be 63 which is what you have right there just kind of have to take your time to do it all right so oops then on the next one we need to find the entire area. So we need to remember 63, 110, and 27. So we need to remember 63, 110, and 27. All right? It says find the area of the entire playground. Explain how you found the area of the playground. So 7 plus 3 is 10. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, another 10. This one is 200 square meters. And we have to explain. So, the area of the entire playground is 200 square meters. I found it by adding the areas of A, B, and C. As usual, I'm sorry that my pen doesn't write very well. This would be a good place to pause and reread the question questions and make sure that you can try them on your own. Good luck on your test.